So today our topic is uh, retrieving objects, filtering objects and all the related stuff. And I have this model here which has name, study program, age and a simple string representation of this. And I already opened the shell and I already filled a database with some values so and I think this is the first thing that I will show you. So if you want to uh, get all the objects of the model field, then again, uh, we are using this uh, manager, which is called objects and which is helping us to communicate with database. Uh, so and we basically need to uh, call all method and we receive all the objects here. So here we have three objects. Uh, one of them named John, computer science, Mary psychology and John psychology. So if you want to retrieve an object using the uh, ID, for example, we can say get ID equals one. And if we, for example, know for sure that there is only one person that studies computer science, we can also get the person by study program computer science. Uh, we can do it only uh, because we know that there is only one person with, with uh, study program computer science. And if we say psychology, we will get an error because there are two people who study psychology. It returned two. But what if we need to actually get not only one person who studies psychology but all the people who study psychology and for that we use filter method and now we have it we can also chain filters so for example we say filter study program psychology and we have two guys here uh, but what if we uh, also need to filter by name Mary for example well we can do that we can just add one more one more filter name equals Mary and now we have a uh, double filter so we so we search for people who study psychology and in the same time their name is Mary we might also try to get all the objects for example but we don't want to filter by the study program psychology but we uh, so we so we want to not get uh, all the people with study program psychology but we rather want to not get them so we want to exclude them from our search and for that we use exclude exclude method study program psychology and now we receive only one guy because there was only one person who doesn't study psychology so there are more more complex uh, filtering that we can do for example um, so so we might uh, of course filter by the name but we also want, uh, might uh, for example fil filter by the not only name not only exact match with the john but also for example starts with right so so we want to find all the people whose name starts with j and for that we write two underscores 
and write starts with and we have two joins here we can also for example say ends with and for example ends with n the same result uh, we might also for example do the same stuff with age but for example uh, say that age should be uh, greater greater or equal than 27 or for example 25 so not exact search but uh, actually uh, more complex search we can say uh, greater than equal or less than equal uh, yes less than equal and uh, here every person is less than equal of course uh, there are a lot of uh, this uh, this uh, more complex filtering stuff uh, less than equal starts with ends with all of this you can find in the reference and I will not uh, of course go uh, into details about all of all of the options that we can use but I just wanted to show you that it's possible and uh, one more thing I guess uh, to show you uh, with inexact uh, filtering is actual uh, inexact uh, option for example we have this uh, study uh, uh, study program computer science but what if we don't know if uh, the letters here are capital mm, what if you want to actually for example if we search for cs with not capital letters we also want to actually get this guy so for that we have inexact option e okay it's not inexact but e exact all right so as you can see now we provided uh, these letters not in capital form how it's in original but we still get the guy and I guess one more thing that I wanted to show you is ordering. So we have all this, uh, all these people here, and we can actually order them, for example, by age. So now it's in ascending order, and we can also make it. Uh, using minus sign in descending order and I guess this is all that I wanted to show you about filtering and I hope it was useful.